Take a look at this. You can set up a legitimate feast with this. I like that a lot about this. What's up agents? Zero, welcome back to the lab. Today we're going to be taking a look at the placeable food ad. Now this is nothing more than a decorative ad and you can't actually use this legitimately. It's purely for decoration. This was created by a person by the name of Jeb R Gaming over on Twitter, so huge shout out to them. And I'm going to go ahead and show you first off the mechanics of this ad. And then I'm going to show you upstairs in the testing room. I have the full extent of this add-on already set up. So first thing you need to know is how to actually use it. So you've got yourself a plate and I've got myself a piece of cooked chicken. And you can use a large number of different types of food. You can't use all foods unfortunately, but a large number of them you can. So you go ahead and place it down on the plate and the plate is actually replacing the shulker. So you need to be on difficulty easy or higher in order for this to work. And also you cannot place these down on transparent blocks. They have to be solid blocks. I tested this earlier. I tried to set up a little bit of a better looking table using stairs and slabs. It did not work because then the because these are shulkers, they teleported away to a different block. That's why you have to put them down on solid blocks. And if you go ahead and take out your piece of food, place it down on the plate, look at that. You just put food on the plate. Now, there are a few pieces of food that when you put down on the plate, they actually have a 3D model. This, however, example that I used uh, is not one of them. So that is how you actually use the add-on. Now there are a few other things that you should know. First off, if you take a wet sponge and you click on the plate with food on it, it cleans the food back off, which is actually really interesting. So now you have a cup, which these are replacing mob heads, and you have three different types of cups that you can use. So this one is just empty. There are two other types of cups that I have upstairs in the testing room that you guys will see in a moment. And last but not least, we have ourselves candles. Now, candles are actually replacing two different types of flowers. We have ourselves a regular torch candle, and we also have a redstone torch candle, which I have set up upstairs as well. So that's the majority of the mechanics that you need to know in order to use this on. So let's go ahead and head upstairs to the testing room to take a look at the full extent of this add-on. Take a look at this. You can set up a legitimate feast with this. I like that a lot about this. Alright, so as you can tell, we've got ourselves a few different items. So as you can tell, we've got ourselves the torches I showed earlier, and we have the redstone torch, or candles I should say is what it technically calls it. Um, we also have a few items which have 3D models, as I mentioned. We've got ourselves an empty bowl, we've got ourselves a cookie, pumpkin pie, cake, this is rabbit stew, and then over here, if we come over to this side, we actually have ourselves bread and mushroom stew, and that's it for the three model foods. And as I mentioned, there are three different type, types of cups. There's the empty cup, which I showed earlier. We have a water cup, and we have a milk cup. It makes sense that they do not have a lava cup, because you just wouldn't want to drink lava to begin with. And then we have the rest of the foods. Uh, we've got ourselves cooked rabbit, a baked potato, an apple, a cooked pork chop, cooked mutton, cooked chicken, and steak, which is the full extent as to the food that you can use in this end. I don't know whether or not the add-on creator plans on adding more foods into this. That would actually be kind of cool if you could add in every single type of food uh, into it. I know there are some limitations uh, to add-ons, I understand that, but if you can add more food into this end, that would actually be really cool. And I just realized I'm standing on the table, I probably shouldn't be doing that. But you know, other than that, that's actually where I'm going to end off the video. But before I go ahead and do my outro, I do have a quick question for you guys. So, I've been doing this Zero's Lab thing for add-ons and stuff for quite a while, and I want to ask you guys if you would be interested in me making my lab 
publicly available for download. If I get a yes answer on that, I'm going to try to get this lab upload to MCPDL. No promises, but I'm going to try. I just figured I'd go ahead and ask. But yeah, that's where I'm going to go ahead and end off the video. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you did, make sure that like button. One more to make sure that subscribe button for future content. Also, you can follow me on Twitter at HNCP0 to stay updated. This has been Jesus Thank you guys for watching. And with that, I will see you guys later.